Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right into today's poster. Wanted to know how to create the uh, water droplets that are semi see through. And you can see some of the background and the line coming through that one here. So let's show you how to do that. Um, that's pretty simple. First, I made a copy of the photo so that I can really look to see the shape of the water droplet. And I found that if you look for the biggest one, it's easiest to trace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely take that copy and go to lighting, shot, uh, brightness, and I'm going to bring the brightness down. See, see what happens? It accentuates the actual droplet. So now I can see the actual whole drop to copy it. I'm going to create a new layer and I'll grab the polygon lasso tool. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And all we got to do is simply start to uh, trace the actual droplet. And you can grab the droplets already made, or what I chose was to just copy it by tracing the edge. In this case, I'm using the lasso tool because it's really simple to trace. It's a very simple design and doesn't take all that much time to do. And once we get to the end of the droplet here, close to the end here, I'm going to double click. That will close the loop. And let's find the, um, the base color of the droplets. And I can see that they are right around here. We're going to find the most solid color. So I'll grab the uh, eyedropper and choose right around here and I can look down here at the color palette I'm gonna actually brighten it up just a tad it's kind of a dull color so I'm gonna notch this up to about here that's pretty darn close to what we're looking at um, now I'm since I'm on a new layer I'm gonna grab the paint bucket and fill it in boom and there we go it's that easy we're pretty much done with the whole project I'll hit control D to deselect it now we got ourselves a brand new a droplet that we can put anywhere we want. You can see there's a drop shadow underneath the, the droplet uh, down here, and we can show you how to do that later. Let's um, add one. Let's add two of them. Okay, so one right here, and I'm going to hold Alt while I hold the left mouse button and copy it and add one over here. I'm going to now grab the corner and resize this one down to about here. And then I'm going to grab this one here and just go ahead and put it right around here like that and leave it a little bit bigger. And all you got to do is grab the eraser and you can see how this was erased out. I'm going to make this, I don't know, maybe 200 point and bring this down to here and click it once here. And there you go. You see part of the image is see-through. I clicked it three times and that's pretty much all there is to it. Or it's partially see-through the whole thing. So I can go come up here to opacity and make the whole thing at, at, to any um, percentage of see-through that I want. And I'm not going to fill it in completely. I'm going to leave this at about 90%. And that still leaves a little bit left to go. So you could see parts of the edge of the flower behind there. Now up on this one here, you can see it's kind of see-through throughout the whole piece. So I'm going to take this once again, make this, I don't know, 90% or so. So it's a little bit see-through down here. And then I can take the eraser again here. And I'm just going to boom. And boom, right there, and there we go. It's semi see through. You can see the lines underneath behind it. Um, now we want to create a drop shadow like this one. So I'm going to right click, go to uh, Edit Layer Style. And since the drop shadow, the light is coming from upper right, the drop shadow is in the lower left on this, on this um, drop back here. We're going to do the same thing by changing this color wheel from the upper right, and it'll automatically make a drop shadow on the bottom left. If I hit um, Drop Shadow, I first start with a big one, so I'm going to opacity all the way. And then the distance, we can see what it's what it's doing down there, right? So I'm going to try to copy the other one, which is right around there. Uh, bring the distance a little bit closer. Now I take the overall opacity and bring it down to match the other one. And bring it down to about right there. That looks pretty good. D8. Let's do the same thing to this other one down here. Click it. Right click, edit layer style, so it's noticeable. When you got two different sizes, you sometimes have to um, change the parameters a little bit. 
and that's pretty much it and there we go we got the two added extra drops here they're looking pretty good um, if I want to make them lighter I can always just click on this take this and change this from 90% to 80% and you can see it's more see-through same thing with this one here's at 90% let's go to 80% and there you go you got the droplets that are um, following along with the other droplets they look pretty much the same and that's how to do it pretty much uh, this is rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out